So I hate to say this, and I don't want to sound like I'm really raining on your parade on here, you guys, but it's too good to be true when people are speculating that both Tom Holland and Tobey Maguire are set to appear in the MCU's Spider-Man 3. And Sony has already addressed this very recently, actually, just about a little over an hour ago or two. Sony addresses that Spider-Man 3 casting rumors are pretty much not true, but not confirmed. So before I get into it, guys, I want to go ahead and ask you to subscribe to my channel where I post videos on a daily. I've noticed that 51.5% of you who are subscribed watch my videos and 48.4% of you who are subs not subscribed watch my videos as well so go ahead and take advantage of that and do me the biggest favor of all and, and click on that subscribe button i post videos daily like i said before do live streams about four to five nights a week 8 30 p.m 9 p.m eastern time around starting around that time depending on how i'm feeling that night and go ahead and calculate that time zone for yourself depending where you're at in the united states or around the world and of course click on the bell notification so y'all don't miss anything and you can always get the latest in comics movies games and more and with all that being said Welcome to New Suicides, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. My name is Ronnie, and I'm here to address the Spider-Man 3 casting rumors. So, let's go ahead with the article at SuperheroHype.com. For the last few weeks, rumors about Sony and Marvel's plans for Spider-Man 3 have been running wild. It all began with the news that Jamie Foxx would be reprising his Amazing Spider-Man 2 role as Max Dillon Electro. This announcement led fans to wonder if the studios were developing a live-action Spider-Verse movie co-starring Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. Speculation intensified when Benedict Cumberbatch joined the new films as cast as Stephen Strange, who's set to explore parallel realities in his own upcoming sequel, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. These rumors have gotten so persistent that Sony was forced that Sony was forced to issue a brief statement of its own. Those rumored castings are not confirmed, a spokesman for the studio recently told ET Canada. It's worth noting that this statement doesn't exactly read like an outright denial. With this, it's possibly that Sony wants to keep a lid on certain aspects of Spider-Man 3's casting process until the time is right to reveal more. Previously, the studio enjoyed great success with Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse in 2018, which also featured multiple incarnations of Spider-Man. Additionally, the film took home an Oscar for Best Animated Feature. It makes sense that Sony would want to repeat the success by bringing McGuire and Garfield into the fold. Unfortunately, a live-action movie of this nature could also steal some thunder away from the Into the Spider-Verse 2, which bows in 2022. Spider-Man 3 will officially begin production in Atlanta this month. John Watts is returning to direct the film, which also stars Zendaya, Marissa Tomei, Tony Revolori, and Jacob Battenlone. The movie is currently due for release on December 17, 2021. However, this date is subject to change. That's all because of the virus. So there's actually more rumors surrounding the Spider-Man villains and who's expected to show up in Spider-Man 3 because it's actually been really crazy. And I believe Sony and Marvel Studios are really pissed off with Jamie Foxx leaking that picture or at least revealing the fact that he will be returning as Electro for the MCU's Spider-Man 3. Now, I'm sure Sony and Marvel Studios didn't want Jamie Foxx to leak out that information. He even posted a fan photo of three Spider-Men standing on top of the building looking at what appears to be uh, the dimensions colliding or at least collapsing within itself where a multitude of different iterations of like villains and characters are coming in to this one world again that is fan art a lot of fans could also interpret that maybe Jamie Foxx is just trying to tell us something but he quickly deleted the photo because once again Marvel Studios and Sony got pretty upset with Jamie Foxx's uh, leak you know how Sony and Marvel Studio and Disney is. I mean, they really like to keep things on the wraps. They don't really like leaking out things, especially Sony, because they've had a bad rep with having a lot of their information leaked out from like video games to consoles to like movies and whatnot. I don't know if you all remember the Spider-Man Disney deal that was leaked about six, five years ago. And then later on shortly, like about a year later or so, we've had confirmation that Spider-Man is coming over to the MCU and that Disney and Sony had made a deal so I even have another article here from the cheat sheet and it says here that Spider-Man 3 Jamie Foxx Electra will not be the only familiar villain returning to the MCU. Now again I want you all to take this with a huge grain of salt because nothing is confirmed and like it was stated earlier Sony cannot confirm those rumors so that doesn't mean that it's a complete denial sony's not saying that they deny those rumors and that the fans that are making those speculations are incorrect but it's also not correct so it, it's it's pretty much in the gray nothing here is black and white what sony's saying so if you guys are still hopeful that we can probably be getting a 
cameo appearance from uh, Tommy McGuire's and Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, then you can you can all remain hopeful. I'm not trying to turn you down. I'm not trying to rain on your parade, but I'm just letting you know what the reality of the situation is. So let's go ahead and continue with this article. Details about the upcoming Spider-Man 3 movie are finally starting to emerge. What was once thought to be a straightforward sequel featuring Peter Parker, Tom Holland on the run now appears to be evolving into the creation of a live action Spider-Verse. Numerous stars have reportedly signed on for the film. This includes Jamie Foxx reprising his role of Electro, but he won't be the only familiar villain returning to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. According to the Fandom Wire, Spider-Man 3 is turning into a fan's dream come true. Marvel has reportedly locked in Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield to both return as Peter Parker. They will appear alongside the current version of Spider-Man, Tom Holland. The conduit that will bring the three Spider-Men together will be Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch. The three Spideys will supposedly meet in the final act of Spider-Man 3 to fight multiple MCU villains. This is apparently not a post credit scene. Instead, the rumors that the final act of the movie will be more along the lines of the real Avengers Endgame. Marvel is apparently furious about the casting leaks that began with Fox posting about his surprise return to the role of Electro. Fox quickly deleted the post that featured an image of three Spider-Men, but the damage was already done. Insider says that Fox's Electro will be the same character he played in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 with Garfield. And this is where like the confusion uh, kicks in. In a video that I did earlier before this one and an another video I did before talking about these rumors and how Jamie Foxx is joining the MCU, it stated that he will not be playing the same version of the Electro that we saw in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Instead, he would be playing the MCU's incarnation of Electro. But now it's stating here he's playing the same version, and that's where the confusion comes in. So, continuing on with the article, he will not be an alternate version from a different timeline. We got this cover reports that Han and McGuire and Garfield will be teaming up for the final act of Spider-Man 3. The reason is that they will be fighting combined villains from each of the respective series. In addition to Fox's Electro, Marvel's looking to bring back Tom Hardy's Venom, Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin, and Green Goblin. We got this covered also claims that the fans could see Kraven the Hunter and Scorpion added to the mix. So... Right off the bat, I mean, that's also another set of news that just came in where we got word that Green Goblin's also going to be making an appearance. Right off the bat, with all the actors confirmed to appear in this film, it's starting to look like a very, very convoluted film. Honestly, I don't want all these characters to be appearing. As much as a, of a fan that I am of these villains and all these characters, and I love the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies, I like the Andrew Garfield movies, and I do like uh, Tom Holland as Spider-Man. I really don't want this to happen. I prefer a straightforward, simple Spider-Man film only featuring one Spider-Man. And perhaps if we're going to be getting a even an, a hint to a live action Spider-Verse film, I would like the actors of Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield to appear at the very end in a post credit scene or even a mid credit scene because of Doctor Strange's involvement in the third Spider-Man movie. He's going to be a supporting character to Spider-Man in this film, so it would only make sense to have Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield appear in Spider-Man 3 because of Doctor Strange is acting like a conduit to those uh, dimensions. So he will have access to different dimensions, to alternate versions of existing characters such as Spider-Man. And that's the only way I'd prefer and to see Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield make an appearance. So you let me know your thoughts. I mean, everything that I'm reading here, again, you got to take it with a huge grain of salt because it's starting to sound ridiculous where we could be getting more appearances from like more villains when really we only needed about a good two or maybe at the least three villains. But I'd settle for two, which is best because anything more will start to sound very convoluted. I mean, if those villains are going to be featured in the films, they're going to have to have minimum screen time. We're talking like about maybe a minute or two to set up future movies and set up future appearances in future Spider-Man films and installments across the MCU, whether or not be Spider-Man films, then it could be Avengers films or other films. You know, at least have them established, give them a bit of a backstory. Don't make those characters easily disposable and forgetful. This goes into like the Green Goblin topic here that I was talking about a little bit earlier. Fandom Wire is reporting that the Green Goblin is the sure thing for Spider-Man 3. I do not know whether to believe this or not, but I'm just reading it from this article, which I'll post a link to it if you want to go ahead and take a look. The Fellows version of the character did die in Sam Raimi's film, but Marvel could easily explain this return with Spider-Verse narrative. Kraven the Hunter is supposedly a sure thing for the upcoming sequel as well. The character will make his debut in the MCU during Spider-Man 3, but there's no casting news just yet. Scorpion will also appear for the first time in costume. 
It's not yet known if Michael Mando will return as his alter ego, Mac Gargan, which he played in Spider-Man Homecoming. There's also a possibility of Michael Keaton's Vulture or Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio popping up in Spider-Man 3, but fans will have to wait and see. Spider-Man 3 is scheduled to hit theaters December 17th. 2021 that's pretty much everything i just wanted to dish out to you guys i mean that's like the update there's I, we just got to update more updates on the spider-man miles morales video game actually that i just saw before starting to record this video so i think i'm gonna go ahead and skip the live stream and go ahead and tackle that topic as well next when i get a chance uh but for now i'm just gonna post this video and then go ahead and tackle that video next later on late tonight so you guys go ahead and be patient and also, thank you for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you all don't miss anything. Follow my Discord, too, so you can go ahead and chat with every individual as well on there. I already have like about almost 90 members. Tons of cool people there. You should go ahead and join sometime when you get a chance. Say hi. Um, I'm sure everybody there will welcome you with open arms. We got a lot of friendly people who are into the same topics as you and I are. So, yeah, thank you once again, and I will see you all in the next comic panel.